Okay, so in this video, I just want to talk quickly about the difference between memorizing stuff and the difference between that and learning stuff and which of those two is going to be useful for being successful in physics. So first of all, just to quickly define what I mean when I say memorization or learning. So to me, memorizing is where you have learned what a specific perfect answer is to a given question. So you've basically just gone, somebody's told me what the perfect answer is, I'm going to commit that to memory and just dump it onto a page whenever I'm asked. That's what I think memorization is. Learning is slightly different. So learning is the ability to take what you know and then answer questions which you haven't seen before. So you're taking what you know and you're using it to figure out how things work instead of having previously already memorized what the answer to that scenario is. So that to me is the difference between them. So bringing that into the context of physics. Physics is all about learning and is very little about memorization. So that's not true across all things through school. So there are certain subjects, <coughs> biology, um, where essentially it's a test of your ability to memorize the answers to loads of specific questions. And some students like that. Uh, people who have more perfectionist tendencies tend to really like that aspect of biology because they can memorize a perfect answer to a question. They know that question's going to come up. Bam, job done. Nothing to worry about. Physics doesn't work like that. In physics, there are actually very few things that you just have to know. So things like your Newton's laws, your conservations of energy, stuff like that. And physics is essentially testing your ability to use what you know to figure out how things work. And when you're given questions on it, there'll be questions that you've never seen before. There'll be in scenarios that you've never seen before. And it's basically seeing, can you figure things out using your laws of physics? Now, if you're one of those memorizing people uh, that I mentioned earlier, you probably find physics really, really frustrating because you cannot just memorize a perfect answer to a question because once you've seen a question, maybe you've done some problems in class or something, you're probably never going to see that question again. So like the skill set that you developed to uh, for some other subjects is completely useless to you in physics. It's all about how can I figure out what's going on? And in a follow up video, I'm actually going to take a look at that. So what processes am I, am I going through in my brain, in my brain there anyway, um, to the, allow me to figure things out rather than having just memorized what the answer to stuff is. So I just want to finish this video looking at, say you are a memorizer, what can you do about it to be more successful in physics? Well, the first thing you can do is stop trying to memorize physics. The number of students that I've met who've got really frustrated with physics because they figured out that memorizing doesn't work, but that's all they know how to do, so they keep trying to do it anyway. So first of all, stop trying to memorize physics. It's not going to work. You're not going to get to success, and you're not going to be happy with that approach. Just change your mindset and actually go, okay, so how can I take... The things that I know, my Newton's laws, my conservation of energies, conservation momentum, the fundamental laws of physics. What do those tell me about this scenario? And can I use that to try and explain what's going to happen or describe what's going to happen or calculate what's going to happen? Now, I'm going to get in more detail into that in a follow up video, looking more precisely at the mechanisms I go through when I'm figuring things out. But that would be my the first stage here for those uh, memorizers out there. You need to sort of get yourself out of the mindset where you think you should know what the answer to something is. Um, you shouldn't. It's all about trying to figure things out. To all those people out there who hate memorizing, congratulations. Uh, I, you, you, I understand more. I, I never understand why people just want to memorize stuff. But I think it's really boring, um, but that's just me. Um, but that being said, that doesn't mean there's nothing in physics that you have to memorize. Um, you, you tend to find physics quite polarized. You've got people who want to memorize everything and you've got people who want to memorize nothing. And like most things, physics is kind of um, is mostly not memorizing. But there are certain things that you do just have to have committed to memory. You need to know what Newton's first law tells you. You need to know what Newton's second and third laws tell you or, you know, the Newton's 
law of gravity or the conservation of energy. You have to know what those are and know them very precisely because otherwise you can't use them to figure things out. Um, so there's definitely a balance, but physics mostly comes down to how can you figure things out? And that's what learning really is, taking what you know and using it in scenarios where you haven't used them before. That's how you know if you've learned something or not. Um, so I'm going to finish this video here. And I said, as I said, I'm going to follow it up with a video looking more precisely about what mental processes am I going through when I'm trying to figure things out with the laws that I know.